A pergola is an impressive architectural addition to your home that defines your outdoor living space and can provide winding vines a place to grow. Today, we're going to show you how to build your very own pergola in just 10 steps. I'm Todd Dermody, and this is Done DIY. To create a fun palette, we took inspiration from the homeowner's trip to Spain and painted our brackets using bright colors to create a modern look inspired by Mondrian painting. Before you get started, decide where you want your pergola situated. We are building ours on a patio next to a fence, so we decided to use four of the existing fence posts as part of the colonnade for our pergola. First, you'll want to determine the exact spot for each of your posts. Using a string line and measuring tape, find and mark the spots for each post. Since we only need to place posts on one side, we're going to mark our new post spots exactly opposite the existing fence posts. To ensure your footprint is truly square, measure the area diagonally both ways and double check that each corner is 90 degrees. Now it's time to dig holes for each post. We're using a post hole digger today, but you can use a regular shovel if you don't have one. Dig your holes in each of the spots you marked in step one, making sure each hole is at least two feet deep. Then toss some gravel in the bottom to allow for drainage. We're going to paint our pergola, so to avoid spilling any concrete on the parts of the posts that will be above ground, we're wrapping the sections near the ground in plastic, which can be removed after the concrete is set. Place each post in its hole exactly where you want it, paying attention to your string lines and using a level to ensure each post is standing straight. A post level is especially handy here if you have one. It straps to the posts and measures trueness in two directions at the same time. We used scrap material to brace the posts in place. However you do it, the goal is to fix the post in an exact position and perfectly vertical. Now it's time to mix your concrete. There are several different methods to do this, which we'll outline in the project steps. Today, we're using standard concrete and mixing it using the plastic sheet method, which requires two sets of hands. First, lay out a square sheet of plastic. Ours is three millimeters thick. Empty a bag of concrete into the center of the sheet and add some water. With your partner, hold the four corners of the plastic and alternate lifting the corners to mix the concrete and water together. Add water gradually until you reach a nice, thick, but pourable consistency. Then drag the plastic to the post hole and pour the concrete off one edge of the plastic into the hole. Continue until all your holes are filled. Once you've poured your concrete in each hole, immediately check to make sure all your posts are square to your string lines and perfectly vertical. Let the concrete set and cure completely before you go further. Setting time will vary, so refer to the instructions on the bag. If you'd like to paint your pergola, pre-paint your posts and the rest of the wood before moving on. Next, we'll cut off our posts. This step is where it pays to abide by the old measure twice, cut once adage. Using string line and a line level, mark each post and trim to the same height. In our case, we're cutting our new posts to the same height as our existing fence posts. Once you've got all your posts leveled off, it's time to mount the beams. Cut two 4x6 beams to length and place them on top of the posts. To secure them, we're using Simpson's Outdoor Accents brackets and their hex-headed washers, which give the look of a heavy bolt with the ease of a screw. These brackets come in black, but we had ours painted for a fun contrast against the black wood. Next come the joists. We're using Outdoor Accents inside flange joist hangers to mount our 2x6 joists between the beams. To do this, place the metal hangers, double check their positions, and screw them to the beams. Measure and cut the 2x6s to length, slip them into the hangers from above, and secure them in place with side screws. The last step is mounting the roof slats. We placed 1x2s flat on top of the joists, spacing them 6.5 inches apart. To assure we had the right spacing between the slats and a consistent overhang on the ends, we used scraps of wood cut to length which allowed us to keep everything consistent. We used a nail gun to fasten the slats to the tops of the joists using two inch nails. And that's all there is to it. 
Now you have a beautiful structure that creates a breezy outdoor gathering space to enjoy with friends and family.